Do you have a bad quality audio recording and you're trying to think, how can I clean this without affecting the actual voice of the person? I'm going to show you in Adobe Audition. It's very, very simple and easy. So I'm going to save you a lot of time with this tip. So do subscribe, follow me on social media, check out the things button under this video and let's go. I'm going to show you how to remove the noise from this recording. However, I'm going to show you the example, which is usually when you have the same noise coming through the whole video, the whole length. So basically it's either if you have aircon or the actual ambience of a specific room. So that is going on in the background the whole time. And you can capture that specific noise in a specific frequency and get rid of it without affecting the actual voice if they don't overlap, but you can get very, very precise. So in this case, if I play this. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Tunji Ola Jimmy and I'm a book author coach. So that means I teach um, people how to write and publish their books and use that book to build a business. And so especially in this case, right here, I do have noise and I can of course see it visually as well. And then that noise is going through my whole recording because this is literally the ambience of the room. So I need to make sure I know how to remove this. Let me enable spectral frequency display because I want to show you what's going on, okay? All right, first of all, do you know what? Let's do an edit mono file. So it's clearer and you can see it better. As you can see, this is already compressed to a certain level. Maybe we're clipping, but we're not going to talk about this right now. What I'm trying to show you right here is that noise. What I can do is literally with the time selection tool, I can highlight that noise and I can capture a specific print and I can get rid of it. And as you can see, I can also, so this is the marquee tool by default. I can make that selection a bit smaller and identify a specific frequency for that noise. So my selection could be the whole thing from the highest frequency to the lowest, or I can get this more specific. Let me hear higher ones. Okay, so I can zoom in that much and then make my selection and see how much of that noise I capture. We can do the whole thing and see if that line is going to turn flat and how much are we, we're going to affect the actual voice. Okay, so let me right click capture noise print, go to effects, noise reduction restoration, noise reduction process, select entire file. Let's hear it. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. This is amazing. Hi, my name is Tunji Ola Jimmy and I'm a... Output noise only. Okay, let's uncheck that because this is going to just flatten the whole recording. And apply. What? It's like flat line right here. What's going on? There's literally no, almost no noise. This is amazing. Look how much we got rid of, but the speech, which is the yellow ones, as I said, is still there pretty clearly. But the noise, look at the flat line here. There's still something there, of course, but like, oh my God. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Tunji Ola Jimmy and I'm a book author coach. So that means I teach um, people how to write and publish their books and use that book to build a business. And I've been at the online business. Uh this is literally clean. So either if you select this right away as a big selection, get rid of this as a noise print and see if this brings results you want, or you make smaller selections and multiple selections um, or you can try whatever you like. However, go for the capture noise print, apply noise reduction, and this is what's going to happen. Like, this is unbelievable. This tool 
wasn't working that well like a couple of years ago so they still obviously work on it so give it a chance give it a try i'm blown away like this is really amazing so and the tip for you if you're filming as well this is why you have to record before you actually ask the question and the interview starts talking because you need a selection which is just a room tone just that noise okay no talking, no nothing. You need to record a couple of seconds of just the noise in the background if you have some. So then you can use this technique, capture noise print to get rid of that noise. It's very difficult if you need to look for the pauses in the speech and rely on that. Uh, on that noise print. It's not going to be that accurate. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure I save you a lot of time and hustle and headache. So do subscribe, it's free. And check out my social media and check out the thanks button under this video. If you have any questions about anything in relation to this or anything in general, I'm gonna answer all the comments. Comment below, I'm gonna answer. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.